Again, though, it seems like every time uh, Ottawa and Texas Wesleyan are out there, both teams are winning. McDuffie has that big throw power to, uh, to win matches. Ottawa still has uh, two heavyweights coming up. So there's shirt points. There's that headlock. He's vicious with that. And this is going to be a quick third place match. Again, McDuffie's ranked nasty head and arm. Needs really, ah, it's gonna be too late. When you get in that position, you really need to take a flat palm and pop it as hard as you can into their shoulder blades in between them. Pointing at the camera, that's the review camera. So that'll be some more points for Ottawa. That should help out their cause as we uh, are halfway through. Gives them 153 points. Right now, 138 and a half. Texas Wesleyan look, looking to, um, they'd like to win this next one. It's kind of started spacing apart for second, third, and four. Texas Wesleyan and second Oklahoma City's uh, nine and a half back. And then Whalen Baptist is uh, eight back of Oklahoma City. So. Looking at the brackets, 157 pounds. Let's see. So Ida beat Smith and McDuffie and Vanoy beat Mahoney and Espinoza. So, McDuffie needs Ida to win. So, it's, oh, it's a, talk about a catch-22. You need the team that's closest to you in the points to win this match for you to have a chance to go to Nationals. So yeah, big, big um, deal where you need that uh, guy to come through for you. A little disappointed that Braden Smith got hurt out of uh, out of York. I thought he had a lot of potential. Made it to the semis, lost to Ida, and then injury defaulted out. I, I honestly think he could have been a a potential uh, guy making the top three or four. He had his hands full with McDuffie, but both those guys like to throw. Zero to zero is the score right now. And apparently my internet connection was restored. I didn't even know it went out.
And here we are, Ida and Vinoy. Very similar singlets too. Texas Wesleyan. It's Oklahoma City is on top right now in a riding position. But the um, Blue Star. And uh, good riding by Oklahoma City. Don't want to get too high, though. Oh, close to a defensive fall right there. That would have been big. Oh, oh, no near fall there. Oh, no, because it was still, uh, he was still on top. And he's going to choose down this time. It is 0-0. Zero, zero. I believe it's third period now. Should be two minutes of riding time, not 159. And we are underway. Third period, Ida and Vanoy. Ottawa needs Ida to win for them to have a chance to qualify outright. And I believe it should uh, create a rule in the computer that the match will not happen. So Ida and Van Oy still nodded at zeros. Getting high, getting close to getting pinned. Oh no. Reversal two. This could be it. Nate Gomez getting excited down there. In that coaching chair. This guy can pull off this. The freshman will be going to nationals. It's getting tight. It's close. Oh, oh so close. But the lead is extended for Drake Vanoy. Oh, watching Nate down there, getting excited. A four-time national qualifier in his own right. And he has got to be feeling very good about his, his young freshman. I'm sure Coach Gomez Is excited about that. That means Ottawa will not get a true second on this one. And so Vanoy and Ida are national qualifiers. Ugh. Having fun winding it down. 